Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about the drop a function in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Here we have the sample data set of sales of different months. Then we have region, a sales representative and the st uh, status of that sales representative. Now here we are going to use the drop function to actually drop rows or columns as the name says. So here in this column, let me quickly write the drop function. I'll write equals and then drop and then open parenthesis. Now first we have to uh, write the array which means we basically we have to write our data. So I'm going to select this entire uh, data. This means the array of data, then a comma. Then we want to write uh, what number of rows we want to remove. Let's say I want to remove the uh, first row and then a comma and then it asks for columns. So it asks basically what number of columns we want to remove. Let's just keep it zero for now. I just want to remove the first row. If I hit enter, as you can see, the first row that has product, Jan, Fab, March and so on have been removed, right? Now, similarly, if I want to remove the first column, I'll just uh, keep it to zero, which means I do not want to remove any row. If I hit enter, we have all the data as it is, right? Now, similarly, Similarly, I want to remove a first uh, column. So here in, in the uh, column zero, I'm going to replace it with a one. If I hit enter, as you can see, the uh, first column of products is removed and we have all other data. So this is the basic use case of a drop function in Excel. So let me just quickly turn it back to zero and hit enter and we have all the data. We have not dropped any row or column. Now here, let's assume that you are a sales manager and you only want to look uh, for uh, the sales representative, uh, the ones that are active and inactive based on the region. You do not want to see this data. So here we can use the drop function. Here inside the drop function, I will say that this is my data. I have already selected my data and then uh, for the rows, I do not want to remove any rows. So I'll keep it to zero. And for the columns, I want to remove first four columns because I just want to see the region sales representative and their status. So I'm going to write here four, which means that first four columns will be removed. If I hit enter, as you can see, we have region sales representative and status the data we only need. Now, this is how the drop function works. Now, one more important tip about the drop function is that it is dynamic. For example, here, I changed the status of uh, John Doe from active to inactive and hit enter, it is going to reflect here as well. Also, this means that you cannot delete this data. Let's say I'll just go here and I'll try to delete it. I cannot do that. Why? Because here, as you can see in the formula box, it is a, a dynamic a formula because this is basically referencing the data from this source, right? So this is how the drop function works in Excel. Now, that will be it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to download this Excel practice file from the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more beginner friendly Excel tutorials. See you in the next video.